Hello everybody, my name is Tarek Ala and I am a student at Eskudar University. Um, I come from Syria, but originally... Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the other way. <laughs> yeah, it's the other way around. What's wrong? I am Syrian originally, but I came from Saudi Arabia and studying at Eskudar University in the branch of Molecular Biology and Genetics. Turkey, well, when I was comparing like countries in a way, because I wanted to pick a country to study, and of course, like uh, I want to leave Saudi and study somewhere else, I thought of Turkey, and of course, I thought of Northern America, but then I thought that the Northern American lifestyle is a bit too harsh for me, or like diff too different for me. So I was like, okay, I need something like Northern America, but a little bit closer to me. So I was like, what countries do we have? Hmm. Then I look at it, and I'm like, okay. Turkey sounds like a very good option because there's a lot of nationalities, there's a lot of internationalism there, so it seems like a perfect choice. I went with it. Okay. Well, at first I wanted to be a doctor, but then I looked at it and I was like, okay, so first of all I have to spend seven years of my life studying for a degree, um, also memorizing a lot. Too much memorization, but there's no understanding and I'm not good at memorization. And I hit the routine of it, like after I graduate, I gotta go and like stick in an office and just keep doing the exact same thing every single day. And I'm like, that's not for me, that's not my lifestyle, basically. So I thought of, okay, something else but in biology. I kept looking into different majors and I found out about molecular biology and genetics as a new field. I wasn't that optimistic, but I was like, okay, let's look into it. Then it turns out that it's a brand new field, but it is so vast. It is so vast that I just like, you cannot, I cannot comprehend how fast it is. It's like branches almost everywhere. And I'm like, okay, perfect choice. I'll take it. So you think that medical biology has more creativity in it? Of course. Okay. The school university, when it comes to international students, it helps put them together in a way. Like they tend to like see other more international students. So they tend to meet, like, even though they're like from two different parts of the world, but they're considered international, so they tend to meet and they tend to, um, you know, get cultured more and more, learning more about different cultures and, um, you know, making new friends mainly, which is a very nice uh, way of also improving your network. So yeah, it's, it's a very beneficial, very beneficial system they got here. Well, mainly forming networks. Um, and understanding more about the world from different people who are coming from different parts of the world. And yeah, mainly you, you'll come out with a lot of cultural advantages, I'd say. You understand now from a lot of information from different uh, countries, different places in the world. And yeah, that'll be it. I think it would be to explore the place. Know, know your environment. It's like, sometimes you tend to get lost a lot and like get redirected sometimes so it's better just to do one thing which is go and learn where everything is and from there you'll just like directly know where to go without getting lost and all of your problems will be solved in an instant just learn your environment because you know Skudar campuses are like vast in a way and they're like spread as well Okay, then let's go to the questions coming from Instagram. Okay. Thank you, okay. followers. Okay, the first question is What are you gonna be when you finish studying genetics? Like, what can be achieved after studying genetics? Hmm. That's the thing. When I said, What's the benefits about um, studying molecular biology and genetics? I was like, Okay, let me understand more about how vast it is. And it turns out that you can be almost anything, almost, just almost anything. You can turn out to be a doctor in genetics, you can turn out to be an entrepreneur, you can turn out to be a researcher, you can turn out to be um, a lab worker, you can turn out to be a lot of things, so it just like depends on what you want. And I am mainly aiming between the doctor and um, maybe the business aspect of it, because it's very, it's very vast and it's very possible too. Okay, this question is coming from Salah Abadavi, if I'm mm -hmm. pronouncing it wrong, like right. Hi Tariq, what's, your, what's the difficulty of your major? Hmm, the difficulty of my major? The thing with my major is that when it comes to genetics especially, like 
it's a, it's a whole sequence of, it's a process that's coming in a sequence, okay? And the thing is that there's not only one way for you to figure out how to work with it, it's like there's multiple different st steps you can like interfere with. For example, like the cell, as it, as it like starts building um, its cell wall or the covering for it, it's very easy for me to do multiple things in order to stop it from doing so. Like for example, if it's a bacterial cell or something, I can stop it from doing so by multiple steps. I either stop the DNA from the inside from actually making this thing, I can stop the cover from actually building itself through the proteins that are building it, or I can destroy the protein itself. So there's like multiple different ways for me to do it, I just need to find the best way to do it, which is time consuming, very time consuming. Okay, again from Sarah, what's your advice for anyone thinking about the same field? Um, if you think you can gather all of your, how can I say, your mental power to come up with an idea or to be unique from the others in terms of thought, then this field could be very much for you. All you gotta do is just like know what do you want to do and not follow the rest or be like very classical or you need to think out of the box, you need to be creative in a manner. And once you become creative, you're set. Okay, again from Sarah. Do you think Istanbul is a good choice to study? Istanbul, yes. Istanbul is a very good choice to study in. Because, first of all, as I said, Turkey is a hub for international students and Istanbul is the most, most bustling and most, how can I say, um, international place you could ever think of in Turkey. As well as, like, how can I say, Turkey is also located in a way that is connected to Europe too, so a lot of people I met here are Turkish that come from different countries, so they have vast information from different parts of the world. So when I talk with the professors, they come from, for example, Germany, or they come from the United Kingdom, for example. So they come in with different knowledge, they come in with different pieces of information that you cannot acquire unless you go to that country, but he came with it to give it to you. As well as the people you're going to meet here, they are very different, they're very like um, diverse, which is very nice for you and also helps you to build more knowledge from different parts of the world, as I said before. The network is very important. You gotta keep that in mind. Okay, sorry, last question. How about the community in Tsukta University? The community? It is very friendly. It is very, very friendly. I tend to... like I, Because, you know, I'm a, as a foreigner, coming to Turkey, it's a bit difficult to communicate with, uh, with people who speak Turkish, because I don't speak Turkish. But here, it tends to be a bit different because here, actually, people even I'm, I'm having like here, I made my first Turkish friends because, well, they speak English too and uh, very friendly in in manner of uh, thinking. Uh, so yeah, friendly, and also interactive. So it was a very very nice thing to have here. Okay, next question is for, coming from Hassan. What are your thoughts about the ethical considerations of genetic engineering? The ethical. Ethical, not ethical. ethical. <laughs> okay, ethical. Um, I'd say it's very limiting, and I hate it because, like, they, oh, like you, you are, you know, one step away from greatness, but they stop you. Which is, I can understand why they're stopping us, but I don't really like it. Maybe in the future it will change, and I hope it will change. And if I can have the ability to change it, I'm going to change it because this is very disturbing. Like, I believe that genetics can replace a lot of medicine. All we need to do is just like, this is the ethical barrier, and that's it. Top is asking, what's the craziest thing you have ever thought of during your study regarding genetics? Um, what is the craziest idea? Well... Creating a sci-fi bird and... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like creating new creatures that don't make sense to exist, but just to create them, because like, you see the genetic and you're like, okay, so this is really this creature is related related to this creature using genetics and all. And then you're like, hmm, what if I put them together? <laughs> so you just mess up the entirety of the how can I say? The, the phenotype, the genotype, you destroy everything, it just makes them all up. And you know it's not gonna work, but it's just a crazy idea. Okay, our last question is coming from Halfus again. What's the most mind blowing facts you ever know from the field? Um, it was at my start, starter year, like when I started the field and I was talking with one of the, my professors and he was like, well we can do that. I was like, I was asking questions and I didn't know they were related to our field and he was like, well you know our field can do that. And then like another question, and our field can do that too. And I was like, what, what is it that our field can do? I want to know, like please let me know. And he was like, we can do anything, you know, 
So it was just mind blown of how it's like it's like I was looking at it like it says a, it says a tree. I was looking at it from the from the roots from the like stem going up, and then I see how branched it gets, how much like area it covers on top. It is vast. It is mind blowing how biology and genetics work. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support. And thank you for being interested in this because our university. We're gonna see you next week, maybe. Until then, bye. Bye bye. You can come. Mm -hmm. You can come with me. For what? Stay. We're gonna close the video. Oh, okay. We're gonna say, we're gonna say thank you for watching, and I'm gonna say thank you for your enthusiasm for it. Is the right word, right? What? Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. No. Enthusiasm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Interest, for interest for Iskaya University. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being interested in Iskaya University. Yeah. Thank you okay, what do I say? Thank you for being interested in Iskaya University. Right. I'm gonna say thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>